I think, yeah, I mean, look, we want, obviously, him to be in front of crowds, but at the same time, for his career and for his development, he needs to fight this year. His last fight was against Andy Ruiz in December. He probably won't fight till December this year, so it will be a year. And, of course, next year, we know he has two big fights against Tyson Fury. So it's about, of course, fighters want to earn as much money as possible, but they also need to develop as fighters. And I think the Kubrat Pulev fight is a good, solid, tough fight for him. Um, and I, I'm almost certain you'll see that fight this year. He would fight here, no problem. You know, again, we want to be in a position really where we can drive some people back into the arena. Um, but if we were faced with the option of having no fans for an anti-Joshua fight, we would still look to go ahead. And, you know, he, he spent a lot of time training out here on this garden, so he would have no problem fighting here himself. Yeah, he was here a couple of weeks ago. It wasn't set up like this, but he was intrigued. He'll be here for the Dillian White fight. And you know, he's a competitor. He loves to fight. He loves to box. And it's not just about, um, you know, fighting um, in a huge arena, Wembley Stadium, Madison Square Garden. It's about boxing. He wants to improve as a fighter and he'll do it anywhere, anytime.